stop and think, forget the fancy rockets. What if your address was suddenly Mars? It's not a sci-fi dream, it's the most extreme survival test in human history. Let's dive into the four stakes of Martian colonization. The air. Mars' atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide. You step outside without a suit, gone in seconds. Your blood boils, your lungs rupture. We'd be trapped inside pressurized habitats 24-7. The dust, forget the air. The dust itself is toxic. It's microscopic, razor sharp, and filled with carcinogenic chemicals called perchlorates. This dust will tear through filters and straight into your body. The gravity. Mars is one third of Earth's gravity. It sounds fun, giant leaps, but over years your body turns against you. Your bones get brittle, your muscles waste away, and your heart struggles to pump in a low G environment. The radiation. This is the big problem. Mars lacks Earth's protective magnetic field. Galactic cosmic rays will blast right through your aluminum habitat, increasing cancer risk by 300%. Survival means one thing, abandoning the surface. We'd be forced to live underground in lava tubes or under meters of Martian soil. The twist? We wouldn't be colonizing Mars in the traditional sense. We'd be building a life support system encased in a fragile bubble. Every moment is spent fighting the planet for basic existence. The final reality, Colonization isn't just rockets and flags, it's industrial engineering on a cosmic scale.